Something that really piqued my interest a few days ago was the newly redesigned TV app inside of iOS and especially on Apple TV and also moving forward with the new integrations into smart TVs like a Samsung smart TV or LG, Sony, et cetera. Uh, so a few days ago when Apple talked about this at their keynote, uh, one of the things that really piqued my interest was the new design and how everything worked, as well as something they called Apple TV channels. And so today, Apple actually released iOS 12.3, as well as tvOS 12.3. So let's go ahead and check out what's new in the TV app for both iOS and Apple TV. <laughs> So the first thing you'll notice that is new is the TV app icon. It's a picture of a TV on the old version and then on the new iOS 12.3, you have the Apple logo and TV signifying Apple TV, AKA the TV app. When you jump into the app, the first thing you'll notice here on the new version is that you have movies, TV shows, sports, and kids. Your four main categories are listed at the top, so it's far more easily accessible. And then you have your up next and what to watch. And if you scroll down a little bit further, there's actually a new for you section, which will use uh, machine learning and give you better recommendations on the shows that you might wanna watch. And it'll give you new content uh, from over 150 plus different apps like Hulu, Amazon Prime, DirecTV Now, and PlayStation View for some of those streaming cable apps. And so this is a better way of finding new content that you might wanna watch. And of course, if I open one of them, it will take me into whatever corresponding app that content is coming from. Another quick design difference, at the bottom of the navigation bar, you only have three tabs. There's Watch Now, Library, and Search, as opposed to the older version, which has Sports and Store. So they removed those to and went for a more clean approach at the bottom. And of course you can still get to the sports tab at the top, like we mentioned earlier. So moving on to the tvOS version of the new TV app, it's a much more of a drastic difference in terms of design. It's much more modern and clean and it has a bit of a darker theme. Also, I've noticed that there are faster animations and different types of transitions when you're selecting content. So for example, uh, when I was checking out Aquaman, you can see there was a faster zoom in animation and then it kind of goes into this card style theme where there's content to look at if you swipe from left to right or you know the same information about the movie and what you're going to watch and, and who's acting in it. But it's just, it's just a better design compared to the previous version. Just like in the iOS app, on the tvOS app, you do get the new For You section, which will aggregate and use machine learning and give you all those new and noteworthy content. One of the last things Apple talked about in terms of the Apple TV app was a new feature called Apple TV Channels. And this is something that I feel like should be more prominently featured at the top of the iOS app and especially at the tvOS app because this is a way to watch all of your content from subscription services that you're signed up with all within the TV app and you don't actually have to go into the HBO app or the Showtime app or if this worked with Netflix and Hulu, you wouldn't have to, in theory, leave the TV app to go into those separate applications. Everything is just all inside of the Apple TV channels section. Unfortunately, like I said, Hulu and Netflix are not compatible but something like Showtime, which I use to watch a great show called Billions, I would like to not have to leave the TV app to go into the Showtime app. So if you're not a subscriber to Showtime, you can actually just subscribe and try out the free trial all within the Apple TV channels app. And it all just ties into your Apple ID. So you don't have to make a new login or fumble around with passwords. And again, leave the application. And then once you're inside of the Showtime section, it's basically like the Showtime app in terms of seeing all the content that they offer, all of the series, all of the movies, everything is there in one convenient location. I feel like this is something that should definitely be featured more prominently. I'm not quite sure why Apple kind of buried it in this list of the Watch Now tab. It's just kind of in the middle of all the stuff that you have to scroll through. So. Maybe they will prominently feature this in the future. So let me know what you think of this new update and if you're an actual heavy TV app user in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.